Hey, 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 Virgo. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your reading. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload my videos or go live. Alrighty, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. And I want you to think of a person that you want messages from. At the end of this reading, I'm going to be getting you some messages from the untold messages of the heart. I'll get three messages for you from your person doesn't have to be the same person you're watching this reading for. It could be totally a different person. So think about that. Okay. Don't forget to hit the like button. It helps me to pick up on your energy, believe it or not. Okay. So what's going on for my Virgos? Virgos. Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo here? Oh, we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Five of Cups and the Princess of Cups over there. So, mm, again, we have the past coming up. Mercury retrograde. I feel like there's a new, you may have two people coming in. Maybe the same person. I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm kind of feeling too. But let's see. Unless they're Gemini, then that would account for the two, right? All right. So tell me about this Princess of Cups because you do have an offer coming in. This could be from a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. What is this Princess of Cups? Oh, Seven of Cups. Yeah, this is, all right, this is somebody from the past here who made you an option, Virgo. How dare they make my Virgo an option? Uh-uh, the chariot. Guess what they want, Virgo? Guess what they want? You may have even had a spiritual connection with this individual. Are they going to make Virgo an option this time if they want to move forward? Tell me the seven of cups. Tell me about that. The hermit. Okay. So they've done some inner reflection about you, Virgo. I feel like... I do feel like they've changed, Virgo. I do feel like they've thought about what they've done. They have regrets with the five of cups here. I think they all grew up now. They're all grown up now. Princess, Prince of Swords, I'm sorry. The Hanged Man. They've been waiting a while to talk to you. They've been waiting a while to come forward to you. I feel like if you felt a divine connection with them, Virgo, before, I feel like... Even if they felt it, they did not feel the depth of it until now. So I don't know if, if like, this is your twin and they're going through their awakening. Because usually one twin goes through the awakening and then the other. It's usually not at the same time or anything. Ten of Wands. This has been really heavy on them. This has been a heavy, heavy burden. All right, so... What do you think about this person coming back? Let's get into Virgo's head here. What do you think about this person coming back? For Virgo, what does Virgo think? How do you feel about this person coming back into your life right now? How do you feel, Virgo? Hmm, you're not sure? 
two of cups. Yeah, you're going to have to make this decision. And it may be between two people here. I told you I felt two people. The star. You may have wished for this person to come back. And you may have given up, which is why they're back, right? So tell me about the Ace of Wands. I want to know about this other individual. You can't see this right now, Virgo. Moon card. See the two different paths you have to choose from? Uh-huh. Get ready. Get ready, get set. Because you ain't seen nothing yet. That rhymed. Okay. <laughs> All right, Virgo. Let's see what this person is. This person, eight of pentacles here. You may work with this person. You don't have to work with them. Wow, you, I can already feel from that fool card. You make them extremely happy. They just like giddy happy. Like, wow, you got the dopamine flowing in them. You got those chemicals going. They want to put heavy duty work into this connection. They want you to give this a chance. Wow. They see you as their son. I'm getting total sun vibes from that. Tell me about this Will of Fortune. Yep, there's that decision. This is divine timing coming in here. Seven of Wands. So Virgo. So Virgo, what you gonna do when they come for you? Because they're both coming. Ten of Cups. Wow. Oh my gosh. How do you feel about this person? Because with the Ten of Cups here, it's like emotional fulfillment. Oh, you're very attracted to this individual, this new individual, Virgo. You are extremely attracted to them. You feel like you can manifest something with them that you can't with this other one. That's what I'm getting here. Oh boy. Wow. The, I'm getting the word elated. Again, this person is just extremely happy. Interesting that I'm feeling the sun from the Fool card and it's right above the moon, which the sun and the moon are twin flames. But I do feel you have some sort of spiritual connection going on with this past dude or dudette. It doesn't mean they have to be a twin. It could just be a high level soulmate. Oh boy. So what, all right, Virgo, what's your advice? Let, I'm going to get you advice for the first person and advice for the second. Advice for the first individual coming back here. Advice for the first individual coming back. I do have to tell you this first person has changed. They've gained much wisdom. They are leveling up. They have leveled up. They will have by the time they come back to you. Okay? They're saying be strong. Be strong when this person comes back. All right. So what about this second person? What is your advice for the second person? Option number two. Option number two. Option number two. What is the second person, please? Oh my gosh. The King of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. I feel like they want you to take this second opportunity. I feel like with the Strength card here, it's like be strong and pass up on this opportunity. I'm not sure why. But they see more than we see, right? They have a higher perspective. They can see farther than we can see, that's for sure. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, promoting that new love again, Virgo. All right, so think about the person you want messages from. I will get you three messages. Doesn't even have to be any of these people on the board. So let's see. What messages do you have for Virgo? One more. Oh, you got four. So you've got heart. I love you. Rendezvous. I want to see you. Rejection. I'm uneasy about myself. I don't know if I can truly make you happy. And gentle. 
I am staying away from you because the last thing I want to do is to hurt you. And at the bottom of the deck is shared energy from you and this person. We have sorry. Please accept my apology so we can move past this. So that's shared energy. All right, Virgo. Good luck with this decision. I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in any personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Virgo, have yourself a fantastic weekend and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.